Hey, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make moving logos section without a code. So let's begin. First step is going to be installing a plugin called Marquee Effect. So let's go to the settings of our project, go to the browse plugins, and you're looking for a plugin called Marquee Effect. After you install this plugin, you can go back to the builder and start working on your structure. The next step is building a structure. So I'll select my body tag, put one section inside of it, put one div inside of my section, which is going to be my slider. So I'll name it. And inside of my div, I'm going to put another div, which is going to be wrapper to my elements. I'll name it as well. And inside of this div, you can pack any elements you need for your slider. I'm going to keep it simple for this tutorial, and I'm just going to use one image element, which is going to be my logo. I'll change it really quickly. And I'll put some padding to this section in order for it to look better. 50 is enough. The next step is to multiply your divs. How can you achieve this? You can just copy paste this wrapper div inside of your slider how many times you need it, or you can go the easy way and just go right click and loop it. For the example, I loop it 25 times. And right here, you can change all of your logos or any elements you have. Now we can jump to the functionality. How can we make this slider functional? We just need to select our slider div, go to the settings panel, go to the transform options and select marquee effect. As you can see, our logos disappeared. How can we fix this? We can go to the design panel, go to the height option and put some fixed height. I'll put 50 pixels and as you can see, this fixes the problem for me. Now, let's go to some additional options. Let's go back to the settings panel and open this pop-up. First of all, duration. If you put smaller number here, your slider will go faster. And if you put some bigger numbers here, your slider will go slower. I like this bit and I'll let it be. Let's go to the gap. Let's put some bigger number here. As you can see, the gap between my elements has increased. If you don't like your logos going from right to left, you can change that in one click. Just check this item here. As you can see, my logos are now going in reverse. If you are working on some other sections and these moving logos are distracting you, you can always pause your slider. When you're finished with other sections, you can just go, come back here and unpause it. Now you have your slider ready for you to use. This will be everything for this tutorial and I'll see you in another one.